Oh yeah, you all see that fella right there? We are about to scare the heck out of that fella right there. You ready? How's it going? Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Yeah, he turned around like three times just to check us out. You feel me? <laughs> oh, I love doing this kind of stuff. I love my job. Anyways, the time has come. The time has finally come. That's right. Today, one hour after the release of this video, at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the 1.3 inches EPF Minol is getting dropped at www.euroteco.net. Let me tell you all something, all right? Today is like what? September the 8th, that is when I'm shooting this video. I have never in my life thought that we would have come to this moment over here, you know, being in this YouTube career, right? I mean, we've come a long, long way, ladies and gentlemen. If you remember, spring of last year, 2021, that was like ground zero. I did my first collaboration with Euro Tackle and we came out with the one inch EPF swim, right? Everyone's favorite micro finesse paddle tail, one of the smallest and most effective ones in the market, right? For ultralight fishing, BFS fishing, you all know it. And you know what? After we released that one, it was a huge success. A lot of people went out of their ways and they bought it and Euro Tackle saw it and they were like, whoa, people love the stuff, you know? So fast forward a year, is spring of this year, we released our second lure collaboration, right? Which was the 1.2 inches EPF grub. We pretty much adapted the concept of the paddle tail and we combine it together with a circular motion, right? Of a grub, of a curly tail to create the ultimate one in the market. Guess what? Six months later, a little bit more than that, we're coming out finally with the last lure of the trilogy, right? I'm telling you all, this is like Lord of the Rings, you feel me? This is the return of the lure. <laughs> so we have the 1.3 inches EPF minnow over here, right? As you can notice, 1.3 inches that we're going to use in this video for some multi-species fishing. So, I mean, no secrets, you know. Delaware Canal State Park, right? We're at the Delaware Canal in Bucks County, Pennsylvania today. One of my favorite public fishing spots around the area that you all are very familiar with. Let me take this lure for a little ride over here and show you all what it is capable of. Yeah, fellas, around this time of the year, the Delaware Canal is actually pretty shallow. So I'm going to get started around this bridge area over here because it is a little bit deeper, right? With one of my favorite techniques, okay? Just suspended jigging, right? I'm gonna walk a little bit over here and check it out how much line I actually have under my float, right? We just gotta give a few casts right around this area over here, which is the area that I really have the crappie. Uh, let's see if there's any crappie around here. Right there. Ooh, 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 boy. Ooh, boy. <laughs> it's almost like, it's almost like cheating. Look at that. Almost like cheating, huh? First black crappie of the day on the EPF Minol. Suspended jigging out here. Look at that, huh? Beautiful Pomoxis nigromaculatus from the Delaware Canal boy he loves it all right let's take this one out i'm gonna release this little fella right over here okay go back where you belong son huh look at that <laughs> that's what i like about the epf mino right you can combine it with one of my favorite techniques the mighty suspended jigging yeah
I can tell you all already that today is going to be a tough day here at this canal. You know how I know that? Because the fish are not schooled up. Caught that one black crappie. Another 15 minutes here with the float. One more bite and that was it. But you know what? That's all right. That's all right, because good old EPF loves a good challenge, right? And there are plenty of other spots right along the canal. So let's walk a little bit and I will see you all on the other side. <laughs> Tell you all what? We're not on the other side. We're still here at the canal. But come closer, come closer, check it out, check it out, the juicy pads that we have right in front of us, huh? Well, I'll tell you, just by trying for about 30 minutes of the bridge, I know that the game plan for today is not going to be suspended jigging. Now, these pads over here, they're actually great for predatory species of fish here at the canal to seek shelter, right? Black crappie, chain pickerel, the Azox niger, the largemouth black bass, the Micropterus salmoides. Around this time of the year, right? What do you think they're looking for? They're looking for this right here, but just the real thing, minnows, right? So that's why we're going to just punch it very gently inside the pads over here, not even cast, just whoop, like that, and see. <laughs> Let's see if anything comes from under it to, to, to get it. Uh, this job, bro. People look at you like you're crazy, you feel me? Oh, like, look at that. A vertical jigging boy. I mean, I didn't even cast. You saw that? I didn't even cast, man. I just right in there and uh up comes another tiny <laughs> tiny crappie but fun though right it's fun oh yes oh yes it's a little patch right over here man could hold up a little something wow it's all bluegill though no nah, it's all bluegill yeah 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 well, get out of there bro it's too much for you this is three inches too big for you. That's what she said. Oh yes, this patch looks good. This patch looks like it can hold some fish. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm, boy. Oh, I lost it. Well, you saw that, right? You saw that. I, did, I came here and I said, this patch over here looks like it could hold some fish man vertical jigging just whoop light flip that was a nice crappie yeah i don't know folks the quality of the vegetation over here is just not the same you see there are like small clusters like that but at the, on the bottom right it's like it doesn't really it's hard for me to explain because you you guys only have like the 2d view over here these can't really hold fish so you know what i think i'm pretty much done i mean we, we did this entire stretch right uh two additional crappie and three missed bites which is is good let's go dun -dun -dun -dun, to the next biome <laughs> this is gonna be pretty bold of me as you folks can see 12:53 p.m. Just to say that I am not cheating, right? You all see this juicy wall right over here. Oh yes, look at that. That's the perfect environment, right? To do some vertical jigging with the EPF minnow, right? I predict that in the next few minutes we are going to land either a green sunfish the Lepome Cianellus, or a tiny largemouth bass, the Micropterus salmoides. What do you say about that, huh? Do you think we're going to be able to do it? Do you think uh, EPF now is a psychic? <laughs> All right, let's get down to it. I'm going to show you how it's done. 
You all think I'm playing, huh? I'm not playing. EPF says, EPF does, man. That's how it is. I don't think it's gonna happen, do you? Look at that, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You see what that is right here? That's a, that's a Lepomicianello spot. That's a Lepomicianello. 12.57 p.m. Heck yeah, bro. Don't mess with extreme full of fishing, man. Lepomicianello's right here. I'm gonna take a little shot of it because it's my first one ever on the 1.3 inches EPF minnow. You feel me? But look at that, huh? EPF don't play, man. <laughs> oh man, this is second species of the day. Can't make that up, huh? Beautiful Lepomis Cianellus from the wall. Vertical jigging. Going back where it belongs. My battery, my battery just died. That's why I'm changing my battery over here real quick, right? That's why the audio is a little bit funky for this portion of the video. I'm using the audio of the GoPro in front of me, but I'm just letting you all know, okay? I'm just letting you all know. It's 1.01 p.m. I just caught a tiny largemouth black bass, the Micropterus salmoides, on the EPF minnow 1.3 inches okay right here next to a piece of wood the thing is i didn't even realize my gopro had to run out of battery right so that was actually a third species of of the day all right anyways i'm gonna get my stuff my stuff set up over here and we're gonna hop to one final spot on the canal but we are not really going to fish the canal you will see stay tuned time to walk a little bit at this point in the video you've probably realized already what the epf minnow was made for right in particular with that action right over there it was made for vertical motions right vertical techniques vertical jigging so i mean if you have any docks piers, bridges, or if you're fishing from a boat, right? Doing ice fishing. If you have some of those wonderful walls like the one we have on the Schuylkill River here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, or even if you just find some cover structure like we did with the pads earlier today, and you just want to <laughs> jig it right in front of the fish's face, this is the lure for you, right? All you got, all you have to do is to make sure that you put it on a jig so that the lure actually stays in a horizontal motion. And every time you do that little jig, you know, it's gonna be like a little wave, just like that, right? Soft lock tungsten jig, size six hook that is fundamental. But in terms of, you know, the wage, well, it depends on where you use it. Today I've been using the 132 ounce the entire day right so i'm gonna finish my fishing session over here right on top of this little creek as you folks can see i'm going to do some vertical jigging along the wall over here and along the wall over there right i spend 10 15 minutes over here see if some other species kind of show up right worth worth a try you know, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. I was really hoping that at least we would catch a little red breast, some fish or a bluegill to add it to the folder, right? After all, we got a new lure, got to create a new folder on the Smug Mug database for the EPF minnow. But now nah, I've been doing it for 15 minutes and the vertical jigging over here just hasn't been productive but i tell you all what the results for today though i'm gonna leave the numbers over here right oh i'm satisfied you feel me i am satisfied i always tell the locals too i mean if you are able to catch fish from the delaware canal or the delaware and raritan canal when the water is actually low oh believe me you're ready you are ready for the rest 
of the world because it is tough out here. You probably realize that already, but every time I shoot the videos for my fishing lures, I never go to no private pond or, um, you know, the, the secret five pounder spot, right? Or a place where all the fish congregate. So you put it down there and they buy it right away. I do quite the opposite of that, right? I like to go to the fishing spots that I am accustomed to and the places that I know it is going to be hard and a challenge to catch fish. Because I know for a fact, if I'm able to catch fish with this lure over here, when you folks buy those lures at eurotackle.net, right, you will have an opportunity of catching fish around your area, okay? Because this fishery over here, I gotta tell you, it is pretty tough. So nine per pack, as always, the price, is the same. You can see all the detail and information at www.eurotackle.net, right? You can use my promo code, save yourself some money in these times of high inflation, right? 10% off your entire order, extreme fully fishing during checkout. And here is a little bonus for you all, okay? If you actually have Instagram and you buy some of the EPF minnow just this month, send me the receipt okay via a dm on instagram and i'm gonna give you access for one week on my private secret instagram account okay so that you can have one week of checking out eps day in the life routine and the schedule all right that's a promise for you all but yeah this is pretty much it for today time to go home get some lunch edit this wonderful video for tomorrow right um i would like this opportunity just to say thank you very much for all the love and support i mean i can't really put it in words right when i started my youtube career back in 2016 never would i have thought uh, you know that i work with all these companies out there right and i will have my own line of yours you know and soon we're gonna perhaps be putting epf swims like in different stores around the country and things like that i mean that is pretty darn cool. So big shout out to all my supporters out there, in particular the OG ones who have been with me since 2016, 2017, right? And big shout out to my sponsor, Eurotackle 2, okay? For putting all this trust and faith, right? On your boy, Extreme Fully Fishing. <laughs> all right, I'll see you all next time. Tie lines and take it easy.